going to uh, remove the ECU from uh, same RX-7, it's uh, 84 GSLSE that I'm taking apart and selling and getting a new one. Anyways, I'm going to remove this. Three screws there. Comes right out. And this has a screw here and a screw there. And you can just pull that right out. Speaker cover. Where the actual ECU is, it's under the carpet. Under here, kind of a strange place. Uh, then we've got, looks like four 10 millimeter, millimeter bolts in each corner. And uh, I'll get to taking those out right now. This is actually the best way to, uh, if you're taking out your motor, instead of unplugging all the wires at the motor, just take out the plugs from here, run them through the firewall, and then you can just yank out the motor with all the lines still, everything connected. So there's an idea if you're doing this job. See how the plugs are. They all just run up through the firewall up there. And just unplug everything and push them through. What have we got here? Looks on this plate there's another four or five ten millimeter bolts for the ECU. Okay, so got all those bolts out, took all the connections off for this one. There you have it, one ECU. Then all of these cables for the engine harness. Right here. Get a, get a screwdriver or something. Just start pulling that out. step I had to do there was just remove the blower motor for the heater and that was just three 10 millimeter sockets straight up there and then one at the back and I just gotta get all these plugs off all right almost done As you can see, I've pulled out the ECU harness. 
And now the motor can come out with everything still attached. Much easier this way. Also happy to say I didn't drop a single tool, so no tools were hurt in the making of this video. Peace out guys.